guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Chloe, and today I'm going to be doing my top five um, autumn lipstick for you. And basically, I'm going to be talking about the price and the colour and the finish and where you can get them and all that. And I'll leave links to everything down below, like I say. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. First off, I don't think you can go into autumn without um, a red lipstick. And so this is Makeup Revolutions Lady. And basically, I think it's their dupe for um, Lady Danger. Is there something in my face? No, I think it's on the camera. Never mind. <laughs> and um, basically, it's like, I'm going to give you a swatch here. It looks really similar to Lady Danger. I don't have Lady Danger, but from what I see of swatches and videos and from constantly swatching it every time I go on into MAC instead of just actually buying it. Um, it's really bright and pigmented and it's one pound, so it's about 150 in Superdrug and you can buy it online and stuff like that. And it's kind of like, it's kind of like a matte, like satin kind of finish I'd say. And I just wear it with a red lip liner and it makes me feel really Christmassy and winter and I love it. I love um, autumn and winter. So. Next is what I'm wearing on my lips today actually and it's Fuchsia's uh, Cherry Cola and it's number 60 Cherry Cola and these retail for $13.50 but if you find them at the beauty show which is on Dior DS twice a year um, they are a lot cheaper. Also you can get a Fuchsia Pro card if you are a makeup artist or like a beautician or whatever and you can get 40% discount so they work out at being about seven or eight euro so similar price to like Rimmel or Maybelline in the drugstore and I hate using the word drugstore it sounds all American <laughs> but um yeah like boots or anything like that so they're usually 13.50 but if you are qualified or anything like that you can get them for cheaper so this is kind of a different color it's like a ready nude and I'm so bad at swatching aren't I and like it's a ready type nude and I just thought it was something different like it's not your typical red it's not your typical nude kind of again a satin finish and yeah you can kind of see there's kind of like a sheen of it next up is this fashionista lipstick and I think it's fashionista or maybe it's style icon London that's what it says on the bottom yeah style icon London um and it's in the shade aubergine number eight and you can buy this online on Makeup Revolution. Well, I haven't been on the Makeup Revolution website in forever. No, not Makeup Revolution, sorry, MUA website. And um, they wear like a fashionista side, like I think it was like a sister brand or something. I'm not really 100% sure, but basically it's a total dupe for uh, Max Rebel. And it keep, it's gone real patchy on my hand, but it doesn't go like that on your lips. It's just gone really patchy because I've been wiping the lip swatches off with baby wipes. And it's just kind of, I don't know, it's doing something really funny to my skin. But it's just like a total dupe for Max Rebel. I think it's identical. Again, I don't have Max Rebel, but I paid about three or four euro for this. It's a bit dearer than the um, MUA regular lipsticks. But I just thought it was really nice for autumn. And I always like to pull it out during winter time only thing is I have to wear it with lip liner if not it's gonna leave that lovely ring around your lips that nobody wants next is this essence good girl bad girl lipstick and it's in the shade number one it wasn't me and I was looking for a purple lip uh, lipstick forever last year and I couldn't find it and my mom brought this home to me one day and how scary does that look that looks black that's not black though it's like if gravel and heroin by Mac had a baby I think this would be the colour because it's so purpley but it's still like that warm tone that like um, Ravel would give to you and it's like a satin but there is kind of more of a gloss in this lipstick I would say. I have a photo that I'm going to put at the end of this video and you can see that this one has more of a shine than the other three that I would consider more of a satin finish but I love this lipstick so much. Again, it leaves the ring around your lips, which is really horrible. But try with a lip liner, you know, just keep topping up during the day. There's not much you can do. Dark lipsticks are a bit of high maintenance, but they're so worth it at the end of the day. And I don't know whether you can still get this lipstick. I'm pretty sure it was limited edition around the Halloween time last year. And um, it doesn't say anything on it. That's why I was trying to read it. Sorry <laughs> for not looking at the camera. But, um, Unless they bring out something similar this year and I'll let you know down in the comments if you want um, to find something similar to it. But again, I think it's like heroin and 
Rebel had a baby. It's just the perfect like in between purple colour and I love it. My last and final favourite and probably one of my favourite all time lipsticks is MAC Heroin and this is my baby and I bought this just before my birthday last year and oh it is my baby. I love, 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 love this lipstick. It's just purple and if you know me in real life, purple is my favourite colour and I just love it. It's a matte finish as you can, you probably know and I'm just kind of trying to show you the swatch and yeah so matte lipsticks retail for 19.50 it smells like vanilla and then when you put it on your lips like the smell totally goes away you don't smell it after that but i mean they last forever 19.50 it's a matte finish and it's just it's so 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 long lasting i love it and it's probably like my all-time favorite lipstick <laughs> So that's it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of these lipsticks, would you wear them? Would you wear a black lipstick? That's what I'm gonna try and find a drugstore black lipstick this, um, I was gonna say summer, definitely not summer, this winter. See can I pull it off, see will I be brave enough to wear it. Um, are you gonna, are you gonna try and wear it? Cause why not, why not do something different this year if you can? I hope you enjoyed my video, give it a big thumbs up if you did. Leave a comment down below any other lipsticks that you like for this um, autumn winter season. And I'll see you next time. Bye!